Hello and welcome to another Blender architectural video. For this video, I'm going to build a model for a simple house again, but this time I'm going to use an architectural package that comes with Blender. So first we need to enable the package and I do that by going to edit here on the top left, then down to preferences. Um, then you click on add-ons here on the left. And the package we're looking for is called Archimesh. I can type in Arc. And it comes up. I already got it enabled here. But if you don't have it enabled, make sure you check this box. And now I can go back to my scene. Okay, um, I need to delete all these objects and you can do that by pressing A, that selects everything and now you can hit the delete key. Okay, um, now I'm going to add an object, actually a mesh and if you go down your, to your options you see that you have your architectural package here at the bottom and so for a simple house we need four walls to start with and I don't see any walls on this list I'm gonna select the next thing that has walls uh, which is a room so I'll go ahead and click on it and looks like the simplest room is just the flat vertical plane okay so we need to turn that into a room and you do that by going to the menu of your architectural package you can go to the right and open this tab where you see this little arrow and you can also use the shortcut key N to open and close that tab and then your Archimesh menu is down here with this tab, Create. I click on that, and you see we have a menu for the room. We just add it. Um, so I'm going to click on this, um, yeah, this number, this tab, so you can see what it does. I click on it, and I slide my mouse to the right. See that that controls the height. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it 2.4. I think that's what it was. And then the ne next option here is the thickness. And you see there, you have variable thickness here. You can select that. I'm going to change it to uh, 0.1 to make it a, a little bit thick. Okay, now if we go down to the next option, we have the number of walls. So currently we only have one. Let's add one more. Now you have two, and it's starting to look more like a room, except that these walls are a little bit short. I'm gonna increase the length of one of them. Let's do wall one. Increase it to three meters okay that's a good size uh, let's do the same for wall two but I want to show something here I want to show what it does if you go in the negative direction you can see that it just goes the other way it expands the wall on the other direction uh, so let's make it the same length, but on, on that direction, on the negative direction. I'm gonna type in negative three. Okay, now we have two walls. We need a couple more. Three. Let's fix this one first. Again, we need to go on the ne negative direction here. And we need to go negative three meters to be exact. Okay, and we 
we are almost done with the walls. You have two options to close them here. You can do this automatic close um, box. You can check it and that closes the walls. Or you can do one more wall and give it the same length, three. That also closes your walls. Okay, now that we have all the walls, we need to add um, a door. Yeah, house needs a door. So you close your room menu and you open your Archimesh menu. And then you go down here under elements, you select door. Okay, you have your door there. Um, and you can also see here on the right that you have a door group, actually several elements and currently only your door frame is selected. So make sure you select all of them, all of them by holding down shift and a left mouse click, select the entire group. Now I'm going to place the door in front of the house and I can do that by pressing G and then Z, I'm sorry, Y. Now it's X, okay. And you slide it to the middle of the house. That's in the front. And you can actually open this door. So if you select this the frame, this rectangle of the you know the inner frame is for the door. And then you can press R for rotate. And then Z. And if you rotate it out, that opens the door which we can see is not really a door because the wall is still there. So we need to fix that. And you do that by selecting your room. And then you go to your Archimage menu and you see these room tools here. You can select this option, Auto Holes. And that makes a hole on your door automatically. It's pretty nice. Okay, now that we got our door, we can also add a window, which you can do from your elements also. And we're going to do this one, rail windows. I'm going to actually deselect everything first, and then I click on rail windows. And there's my window. Again, this is a group, so to select everything, you go to your scene collection on the top right and go to your window group, hold down shift and select everything with your left mouse. Okay, now I want to raise it to, uh, you know, higher towards the center of the house. I do that by selecting G and Z and I move it up. That's good, and I also need to rotate it. So I hit R, and I think I need negative 90 degrees. So I type in negative 90. Oh, I forgot to do Z first. So you do R, then Z, and then negative 90. Okay, now we we just need to slide it along the green axis, which is your Y axis. So I do G and then Y and slide it to the right. Okay. Good. And here you can do the same win the same thing as the door. You can select one of the windows and you can hit G then Y and you can slide it open. Uh, now we can see that that's not really a window. We still have the wall there. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the door. 
you select your room and then on your room tools you click on auto holes and you can see that I made a hole for the window you can see it actually you can see both holes here got your window and your door and we're almost done um, I'm gonna go back to the room menu and you have these options here uh, ceiling and floor so let's add a floor I'm gonna go ahead and check this box and that added a floor automatically and to complete this model I'm also going to add a ceiling so again I go ahead and select the room and I check ceiling on the room menu at the top create a ceiling and you have a ceiling also um, thank you for watching this video